My name is Jonathan Yarber. I am the CTO of Nodecraft Hosting. We founded Nodecraft back in May of 2012. And I, I founded it with my business partner, James, who's actually from the United Kingdom. And we're a couple of online gamers that just met online and had this issue where we couldn't find a host that was really you know, worth their salt of what we we're paying for. And we just got frustrated. We couldn't find anything that was like what we wanted or that could even provide what we needed. And so we said, you know, we'll just make our own. I'm originally from Yukon, Oklahoma. I raised here and, uh, you know, I've, I've always been a gamer. My dad owned a secondhand computer store. And so I was just engrossed in the gaming community as a whole at an early age and just eventually made a uh, career out of it. When I was about 15, my dad said, you need to, you know, stop just playing games on your computer all day long. You gotta do something productive. And, you know, I took that as sure, why not? Let's, let's do it. And uh, so I just started making websites um, for gaming my gaming hobby, but eventually it turned into a first customer I had, uh, you know, first client that wanted a website built for a business here in Oklahoma. At the age of 16, I was actually building uh, businesses' websites, and eventually that turned into a consulting business that I ran for the next about four years. So the market for Nodecraft is, it's, it's a weird niche. We have a lot of gamers that are just, you know, young kids, but we also have a lot of adults that are, you know, 20s, 30s. We even have families. There's a lot of, uh, complexity behind running your own server. Uh, you have to basically be a systems administrator. You have to run the networking configuration. You have to operate, uh, you know, learn how a Linux system works in most cases. And it's a complex task, especially if you're a 13 year old that just wants to play with your friends. And so what we built is a platform that uh, allows you to just play. You, we handle all of the complexities of network configuration, all the complexities of when uh, files need to be changed or updated. And we have customer support reps that'll actually help you get your server online. Well, our average uh, customer, you know, starts about 10 bucks a month. Average customer comes out to about 20 or 30, but you pay a monthly subscription and we take care of all your server files. We take care of, with the new subscription, you're gonna be able to run any game that you want to that's in our platform. So just, it's like Netflix. You pay for the, the subscription, you have access to all of our content and we host backups of your servers. We host servers worldwide. We have servers out in Singapore, in Amsterdam. We're looking at the UK very soon. Uh, we have three different locations here in the States. We, but what we found is that Starspace really gives us a network of support. Not only can I come chat with, you know, some other coworkers here that might be working on similar problems, but, you know, just having other folks to, you know, grab lunch with is a huge thing. My name is Tommy Yee and we're at Starspace 46. Um, and I'm one of the um, several co-founders of the space here. So we started the first co-working space in the state of Oklahoma. Um, it was back in 2008, and so we were known as the OKC COCO, or the Oklahoma City COCO, um, co-working collaborative. And um, since then, we've um, been through different iterations of the space. So we were known as the OKC COCO, and then we became the 404, and then now we're here at 1141 West and as Star Space 46. I would say we have um, about 20, 25 businesses that are, that are based out of here. Um, we have seven sort of um, more established companies, and then we have the rest who are more of in the startup, sort of just kind of starting out new right now. Um, about 60 to 70 percent of the businesses here are tech related, and then the other 30 to 40 percent are non-tech related, but um, they do use technology um, in some function for their business. Um, and so we have companies like, like Nodecraft, um, we have BIS, who's also here, Heg Software, um, we have um, app developers here, um, and, and quite a few others as well. I think the thing that co-working spaces really bring is, is the community aspect. Um, you know, um, cheap offices are everywhere in Oklahoma, um, especially here in Oklahoma City, and, and people can certainly go work at a coffee shop. But what we bring here is we bring a lot of like-minded individuals who are kind of sort of in a similar path in their journey in terms of their, their business. And to have other like-minded uh, professionals and, and business owners to be in the same space where they can kind of feed off of each other and also provide services to each other is really kind of the core of what co-working spaces are all about.